हेलो एवरी वन लेट अस टेक अ फैसिनेटिंग जर्नी थ्रू द स्टोरी ऑफ लाइफ ऑन अर्थ विच स्टार्टेड थ्री सेवेंटी सेवन क्रोर इयर्स अगो एंड एंडेड विद द राइज ऑफ होमोसेपियंस थ्री लैक इयर्स अगो अर्थ वॉज अ वेरी हॉस्टाइल प्लेस थ्री सेवेंटी सेवन क्रोर इयर्स अगो देर वर वोलकैनिक इरप्शन्स लाइटनिंग स्टॉर्म्स एंड नो ब्रीदेबल ऑक्सीजन बट ओवर टाइम द प्लैनेट कूल्ड एंड ओशन्स फॉर्म्ड द फर्स्ट टाइनी लाइफ फॉर्म्स विच वर लाइकली बैक्टेरिया और माइक्रोब्स अपियर डीप अंडर वॉटर और नियर हॉट वोलकैनिक वेंड्स दीज प्रिमेटिव ऑर्गेनिजम्स डिड नॉट नीड सनलाइट दे सर्वाइव्ड बाय यूजिंग केमिकल्स फ्रॉम द अर्थ क्रस्ट दीज अर्ली माइक्रोब्स स्टार्टेड पंपिंग आउट ऑक्सीजन एज अ वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट स्लोली चेंजिंग द एयर ओवर मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स देन केम द ऑक्सीजन रेवल्यूशन Around 250 crore years ago, around 2.5 billion years ago, a special type of bacteria called Cyanobacteria evolved. These guys were the first to do photosynthesis, capturing sunlight to make oxygen or food. The oxygen they released began to accumulate in the atmosphere. This event, called as the Great Oxidation Event, was a turning point, but it killed off many of the older bacteria that couldn't tolerate oxygen. oxygen in the atmosphere also helped form the ozone layer which protected life from harmful uv rays making earth more habitable the next stage came around 200 crore years ago for a long time life remained very simple with just bacteria but then some of these simple cells merged or absorbed into each other to form eukaryotes more advanced cells with a nucleus These cells eventually gave rise to all the complex organisms including plants fungi and animals Around 100 crore years ago the first animals formed multicellular life started the first animals were tiny and soft bodied living in the ocean Some were blobs that looked like jellyfish while others resembled simple worms Life remained in the oceans for a long time since land was still barren and hostile but around this time multicellular organisms began to evolve they were groups of cells working together as one body next came the cambrian explosion around 541 million years ago or 54 crore years ago life got very interesting this event called the cambrian explosion saw the evolution of many new and strange creatures it's when we get the first animals with hard shells and exoskeletons things like triobites giant sea scorpions and other weird marine life many body plants evolved during this period including some that we still see today like vertebrates animals with backbones etc eventually around 47 crore years ago to 40 crore years ago life left water life had thrived in oceans for billions of years the first plants after that finally made their way onto land around 470 million years ago these early plants were simple moss like creatures not long after the first insects followed tiny creatures like millipedes crawled around these plants The atmosphere was still filled with oxygen allowing some huge insects to grow even larger for example dragonflies with wingspans the size of birds finally came the age of fish around 400 to 350 million years ago in the seas fish began to dominate and some developed jaws allowing them to eat other animals a special group of fish evolved limbs giving rise to the first animals to crawl onto land these were the amphibians ancestors of today's frogs and salamanders land was now even greener with more plants and trees creating forests where amphibians could explore around 32 crore to 25 crore years ago reptiles and first mammals appeared some amphibians evolved into reptiles which could lay eggs on land Reptiles didn't need to return to water to reproduce which gave them an advantage by 25 crore years ago 
early mammal like reptiles also appeared hinting at the evolution of mammals much later but then disaster struck the permian triassic extinction event wiped out 90% of all life it was the largest extinction in earth's history you can see how the permian triassic extinction event was the greatest danger to the existence of all life however some life still survived and the age of dinosaurs began after the permian extinction life bounced back and dinosaurs took over they ruled earth for 15 crore years from small bird like dinosaurs to enormous giants like tyrannosaurus rex and brachiosaurus tyrannosaurus rex was also called as t-rex around this time the first birds evolved from small dinosaurs and the first mammals small shrew like creatures also appeared living in the shadow of the dinosaurs these were the small mammals that appeared however 65 million years ago that is 6 and a half crore years ago dinosaurs went extinct about 65 million years ago a massive asteroid struck earth near what is now mexico's yucatan peninsula which is also called as the chicxulub impact this caused a sudden and catastrophic climate change wiping out most dinosaurs and many other species with the dinosaurs gone mammals finally had the chance to thrive and evolve into new forms some mammals stayed small while others grew bigger evolving into the ancestors of whales elephants and primates after dinosaurs primates evolved around 6 crore years ago primates the group of animals that includes monkeys apes and humans began to evolve some of the early primates were small squirrel like creatures that lived in trees over time some evolved larger brains and better eyesight which helped them survive in complex environments and finally around 70 lakh years ago appeared our ancestors the apes around 7 million years ago our ancestors began to split from the ancestors of chimpanzees these early human like creatures known as hominins started walking on two legs one of the earliest hominins was australopithecus a small ape like creature that lived in africa about 4 million years ago around 2 million years ago homo erectus appeared These early humans were the first to use fire, make stone tools and spread out of Africa into Europe and Asia. Fire allowed them to cook food, stay warm and protect themselves from predators. This was a major step in human evolution. And finally came Homo sapiens. Around 3 lakh years ago, Homo sapiens or modern humans evolved in Africa. They had large brains and developed complex tools. language and culture over the next 2 lakh years homo sapiens spread across the globe adapting to different environments and becoming the dominant species on earth by 3 lakh years ago the story of life on earth had reached an incredible point through billions of years of evolution extinction and survival the stage was now set for the rise of human civilization a species capable of thinking building and reshaping the world like no other before it and the journey of life continues to this day thank you so much for listening